arriving at ease. Initiating the match. If we do this right, they won't even know what happened. Time 
for the reckoning! Let's get started. Got a lot of systems that need hacking. Got it. 
And North Dakota State is going to need a massive push here with all, I would say they need to burn at least three of their holes. Next is going to be a hybrid escort. Uh, so, North Dakota State here going to be picking between hybrid or escort as this next map. Once it's selected, the winner is going to ban a map from the map pool of the chosen type. And then North Dakota will then pick from those remaining maps. Winner getting to choose time and size. So far, this fighting has been even. These teams are looking to be hard. It's going to be a hard-fought battle no matter what you look at. And like I said, WCU just ending up on top here. I do think that North Dakota State, with their aggression, could definitely take these maps away from WCU. But in those key fights, in those prime moments, WCU just struggling a or WCU not struggling, just finding the picks a little bit quicker or at least the more necessary ones. We do see a pick coming out for hybrid from North Dakota State, but I think we're gonna be taking a couple of minutes here just to refresh, grab some water, and whatever else is necessary in this small between game break. I believe that there's going to be quite a bit of discussion coming in here from WCU Crimson. I mean, you can see that the team play is coming out from Western Colorado tonight, making sure that even with Nona, someone who was not seen at all during activation, they did manage to work well with him. And you can see the small little groups who have been playing together for longer. We see Majarshan and Nona supporting each other beautifully as a DPS support combo. And then Bubbles and Corbin working well together, but everyone working well with Gummy, who is that pivotal tank role for a reason. Actually work over here tonight, take out Rustic as that primary DPS. And we're gonna switch it over to Bubbles, who is the one taking control. on 
on the picks here, it could be a map that goes in either team's favor. As we saw, hard fought battles and it was down to the wire. WCU is going to be banning Hollywood here. And I don't quite know who's going to be picked. Pick, or I don't quite know what North Dakota State is going to pick. But whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be a good series no matter what. Do see w we do see a pick here for King's Row. I believe is what it's going to be. And here we go. Right back into the action. King's Row now is the choice. Entering King's Row. And WCU is going to be on the left, not on the right. But let me actually go ahead and adjust that scoreboard for you guys. Initiating match. I'm going to leave it actually where it is, but just know that WCU is in fact in blue this time around. They will be your defenders for tonight in this first map of King's Row. We see a Bastion, Ash, my apologies, Baptiste, Juno, and Sigma coming from WCU, and we see the Soldier 76. Moira, Juno. I forget um, right now what his name is. I am so sorry. Ramatra. And a junk rat coming out from the bison. We're looking right now to see if the mountaineers can hold this position as they need to. small little choke point that the North Dakota State is kind of forced to, to try and gain possession and absolute control and then they have to get control of this area and then they have to export to the entirety of the map as far as they can. Three and a half minutes though to get this first control. And that looks like looking very even in the field coming out from our uh, Mona and that is bubble does find a spoon pretty early in this fight with a big motor pick down. But CJ is going to find the dark team. Then he's going to find bubbles. And Western is now forced off at this point as Port from the ball. Followed by Corbin. And Nona just lets himself be taken out. And North Dakota State gaining very early control. Three minutes. It's going to be about 2.52 left by the time they get to start escorting. Greetings. Hello. Objective lost. Stop the payload. And now WCU just has to hold off as far as they can. See Gummy trying to pull his kink out as the Sigma. But King does fall as a direct result of it, followed by Lil Maker. Spoon will be falling momentarily. Zenny does get picked off. Spoon gets to run away and hide. But it's taken. He's about to get taken out here. Does fall to Dummy. But that forward spawn from North Dakota State is going to be giving them quite the advantage here. As we see some more banter in chat from these two teams. 
They had a lot of banter this first, their first game in this semester. Nona finding CJ right away. Did you see the Kino up on the bottom? Did you see the Kino up on the bottom? Did you see the Kino up on the bottom? Did you see the Kino up on the bottom? Did you see the Kino up on the I can't remember the Kino up on the bottom. Even the layman's for it, but no kicks coming from North Dakota State. Instead, then you see you just holding off. Sitabaki's so gonna come out, does get a pick onto the Ramatra. Nona with two off that. Three and help on a fourth. And it's all CJ alive now, but CJ does fall. It is a team kill in favor of Western Colorado. As North Dakota State gets just over halfway to that first checkpoint on escort or on the escort portion of this hybrid game. You see Bubbles ultimately coming out from back in the airstrike, but doesn't find anyone, doesn't even do any damage. Bit early to rip that ult. It is pivotal in this upcoming fight, but Western now trying to escort this payload as far back as they can and do as much damage as they can in this forced choke point for North Dakota State. Bob, do something! Bob coming out from the Russian. Finding one, Gummy does find Willmaker as well. The ammo field from Western as well. Nono really utilizing that team's advantage. Finding CJ. And now Western is just going to keep pushing this payload back as North Dakota is forced to reset. Now they're utilizing that speed buff to get around and try and flank the Mountaineers. So now Western holding this middle area really well. And we see a battle of Sigmas between uh, Zenny and Gummy. We see Mortar being coming out as well from Spoon. So this is just staying alive in this fight. Spoon gonna kick off pretty quick. A dot files, Zeddy falls, and now North Dakota State is going to have to repeat once again. CJ gets a double kill though. Corbin and Mez fall, but WCU has one person from every role still up in this fight. Going to get picked off by CJ, and now CJ in a great position for Junkrat specifically. Just sit, hide, and throw some grenades down to find as much damage as they can. WCU forced to respect it and back off a little bit as they wait for their team to get back to their small respawn position. Double opening once again to see doing it at a point that does force us to respect it, but not finding anyone. King Jal almost falls there, but he's going in getting a health pack. Not quite. Now he's starting to regain some health. See Zenny's Sigma ult coming out. And Nona falls to the top of the middle of the time. Then he's still able to stay alive in this fight. Gummy Bear gonna be finding one, almost finds two. Bubbles falls, but it's just trade after trade right now as we are closing in on that checkpoint, which is just right there. 55 seconds on the clock. Gummy Bear standing alone against the mountain or against this North Dakota State team. But survives it, lives to tell the tale, and is staying back on this payload. 40 seconds coming in for the, my apologies, for the Bison. WCU with two ults, almost three online. The Bison with one, almost two and three. We'll have to see if we can utilize them better. We do see the window coming out from Baptiste and the ammo field tucked around the corner. So now it's gonna force North Dakota State to back off a little bit. The Jarshan and Bubbles finding picks very early in this fight. Ten seconds left. There's going to have to be a lot of speed coming out from North Dakota State. Really the to the get as much progress as they can. CJ Paul goes with his ult offline. We see Spoon with theirs and King Jal, but WCU will hold North Dakota State to one point in 101 meters. So now comes the part which is tricky. Not only does Western have to gain control, they have to get further than North Dakota State does. No overtime capabilities in this map. But this payload right here is the marker. This is where, I think it was just up here, that North Dakota State got stopped. So Western has to find a way to maintain control of their payload 
from the get-go and they have to gain control of this first section rather quickly. We might see if we see any changes. We see bubbles from Western. Having the somber pick now is both the bash and the you are my Ash, friend. Nona, I mean, everything else from Why? Western are you the same. We do see King cool. Jabba switching on all like of Soldier 76 and over to May. But other than that, and we do see a Ramatra return from Zenny and Spoon going back to their Moira. So we shall see how this plays out. And CJ going to be flanking on the side as Junkrat. Hello. for the middle. And we see some very quick damage on the Spoon, a hack on the Zenny. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. We're going to stay coming off very well, almost picking one. The advantage for not to use here is that their loot pot is just over there, so after that loot pot time, they get right back in the fray. Direct the loot pot onto a Widowmaker. <laughs> Boom, getting out of that with the Moira phase. Does the pitch though, so now they're going to keep approach all, knowing that they have that advantage of the kind of support. But Corbin falls to Zenny. King Jow takes out Bubbles. Dummy, Nona staying alive because of the ammo field, but they're going to have to back off and wait for their team to try and take some cover. This damage output from North Dakota State is too strong for the Mountaineers to handle. We do see Nona almost having their Massachusetts window online. You see Gummy with blocks out online. The issue here is that WCB needs to find a way to utilize these as best as they can without overusing them. The middle field gets picked off very quickly from Gummy. Majarshan picking off Spoon with a snipe. Not finding anyone though, so WC is going to be forced to retreat. This defense from North Dakota State is holding off the Mountaineer offense really, really well. Bubble Team is going to be switching over to a Bastion now. in the end and WC will get a team kill in control of the objective. There was a May Blizzard that was almost determinant in WCU having to fully reset once again. You see burning a lot of ults to be able to stay in this fight. sitting back on the point, making sure that they don't leave so they can keep gaining progress as far and as fast as they can. And that glowing area right there is what WCU has to reach before the end of overtime, just to guarantee that they win this map. It's been a hard fought battle. Ultimate, not finding anyone. We see Zenny popping them off the ult as well. Getting absolutely shredded by Bubbles and Bastion though. Gummy is taking the pick. Nona finding two. 
in this fight with the window up as well. Darsh is climbing three with the assist of Nona. WCU forcing pressure. Dummy chasing hard. And Western going to stay on this point and gain possession, succeeding in their mission to hold. Map two. One score victory for the Mountaineers. Gummy once again with play of the game. And with that, now we step back once again to see who gets to or what the picks are and how things transition between last map and this one. Close, hard fought battle for both teams and it looked like North Dakota State was going to be holding off there for quite a while however the Mountaineers just got some really great picks in the right times and they were able to carry that momentum through and utilize that from the start to the finish pretty much ensuring their victory in round two now round three the Mountaineers will be banning from the map pool the Bison will be picking from that then winners will again pick time and side round three is push we see a ban on the canada really really quick and we do see nona and rustic swapping out here And there is a mutual agreement as to a dislike for Canada. Let's see if we see any changes, any further changes on the WCU team. But as I do know that Rustic has also played support really, really well. And it's going to be very telling to see what happens here. I believe last time push was chosen by North Dakota State, if memory serves. I'm not too positive on that. But if me if I'm remembering this correctly, Coliseo was the choice. But no, tonight we are going to be heading over to Esperanza. Big thing from both teams here is just making sure you get this control, you hold it. And we will see who plays what position here for the Mountaineers. We'll see what changes have been made on this North Dakota State offense and really just hope to see who is on what side now WCU I believe is going to be on the left once again in blue but we I mean only time will tell we shall see as we should be getting started here momentarily as we have just passed the 30 minute mark in actual competition for tonight we do want to say thank you all for tuning in to this first game of the season for WCU Crimson Overwatch. If you weren't able to last night, we did see a forfeit coming for WCU Black in their favor. And then WCU Crimson winning their series Welcome three nothing. But here we go, Esperanza. Initiating match. Map three. Big thing for the Mountaineers right now is going to be ensuring that they gain possession and they hold it from start to finish. Same goes for North Dakota State though, and really what you wanna see from both teams is hard fought fights and just the, I mean, really all you can do is go for picks and make sure that you stay with the momentum on your side. If you don't, you gotta flush it out of your head. Let's take a look here. WCU is on the left in blue. We see a D.Va, Juno, 
we see Rustic on DPS has Junkrat, Majarshan has Ash, and Bubbles as Moira against Spoon and Willmaker as Baptiste and Juno, respectively. King Jal is going to be the May, Five, four, three, as is as was normal for one, the entirety six, of the first meeting between these two teams. And, and then we see Zenny back on Ramatra and CJ this time as Sojourn. Different pick from what we've seen normally. Which is again one of the better tanks. Gummy and Meg do find quick picks onto a DP or onto a support a tank and then Gummy and Gummy find both King Zhao and Lowmaker looking for the team to kill here. It does find it. Team kill coming in from, or not quite a team kill, but all five of the bison have been wiped out in that first fight. So WC you're gonna be maintaining control. Trying to figure out where this team is going to be coming from, and they guess correctly. Now yeah, North Dakota State going to be fighting this with no chance to their lineup. They just get as much damage as possible. Majarshan does find the launcher right away. Rustic finds King Zhao with his... I forget what they're exactly called, my apologies, but... WCU once again maintaining control, finding a way to stay ahead. We do see a switch from Zenny onto Zarya, but no other changes from the North Dakota State side. WCU with three with three ults online. Almost four with Rustic, but this team getting taken out. And that team fight is now going heavily in favor of... Well, it was for a second in favor of North Dakota State, but now it's in favor of Western as they find the May. Namely, as Gummy finds the May, Gummy staying fully in his tank. And WCU getting this forward spawn, so they're going to go ahead, step back... Or no, not forward spawn. They're going to go ahead, step back out of some health, and just hope their team can get back home in time continue progression in this fight or in this push we do see the diva bomb come out taking two we see an alari coming out from spoon but getting taken out really quick and that's a team kill for the mountaineers really fast in this fight and this is the final stretch just up to that circle pad up there wcu looking to try and just make us get as many picks as they can as fast as they can Three ults, almost four online. The only one not is going to be Gummy, who did just use their Diva Bomb. But we'll see what the Bison can do here as CJ gets a quick pick on the Rustic. Bob finding King Zhao for Majarshan. Gummy going to be finding Willmaker. It's going to be Bob finding Spoon. Zenny now getting shredded by Majarshan. And now it's all on CJ, who gets taken out. And that will do it. Look, you try to get a touch as Lil Maker, but not quite in time. That was a very, very fast map three from the Mountaineers. Play of the game tonight, once again, going to Gummy. After this play, that will do it for us. An absolute statement coming from the Mountaineers tonight as they win their series three to nothing against North Dakota State Bison. But for now, with that said, I mean, really just got to say how great it is to see these teams coming back for the semester and knowing that they can do what they've been training for, what they've been playing for and everything. But I mean, tonight, that'll do it for this week, really. I'm Sparky. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great night.